Masyaallah merinding guys asli Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Bagaimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Dijauhkan dari segala marah bahaya Malapetaka bencana dan bala Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Oke okay, apakah kalian sudah membaca Al-Quran? Ya apakah hari ini sudah membaca Al-Quran? Apakah selesai sholat membaca Al-Quran? Masya Allah, Alhamdulillah ya. Kalau teman-teman membaca Al-Quran, maka nikmat hidup teman-teman sekalian. Karena cara kita ya istilahnya mengadu kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala itu tentunya dengan membaca Al-Quran dan juga berdoa kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Jadi teman-teman sekalian ada sebuah video kiriman dari kawan-kawan yang ada di Instagram, yaitu anak muda Malaysia live di TV UK teman-teman dan membaca. Al-Quran ya Masya Allah dan perfection katanya dengan dengan kesempurnaan makhalijil huruf dan ya kita tengok langsung guys bagaimana istilahnya penampilan ataupun pembawaan daripada pemuda ataupun mahasiswa bisa dikatakan mungkin ya di UK ini guys jom kita tengok videonya let's go Masya Allah. Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Salam Britain Ramadan edition. Okay. Yes, and we have a very, very, very special That's guest so all the way here from oh, Malaysia. Oh, tamu yang sangat um, dari Malaysia. And we have Hussein Azizi, a 20-year-old Malaysian student Hussein from Azizi, University of oh. Westminster. I am honestly so, so excited. He is a young talent who has been reciting the Holy Quran and performing nasheeds for Islam wow. and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam since he was just Four years old. Yeah, and Hussein is known wow, for his beautiful tahun, voice yeah. and his ability to touch people's hearts. Okay, dengan suara yang indah menyentuh hati orang-orang. So today, we will okay. be sharing with he will be sharing with us his passion passion for Quran and Nasheeds, and will be performing live as well for us here in the studio. Yes, and uh, we're so looking forward to that. We and uh, are. We've been informed <laughs> that there are many many people watching in from Malaysia today. So, so salam alaikum to Thanks. everybody in Malaysia. Oh, juga dari and Malaysia, yeah, pasti. Introduce our guest. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Welcome, Welcome to, to our Islam couch. channel. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for being here. Honestly, how are you? How are I'm you? Good. I'm good. Uh, I'm feeling nervous. No, but I'm good. I'm good. No, we are so honored to have you here oh, today, you. and uh, we are really looking forward to hearing you. As we have had a little uh, sneak, uh, you know, preview before. Yeah, but, uh, I was you know, saying I heard Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, and I had chills. So. Yeah. Oh, merinding guys. So really Orang we UK sampai merinding guys ya. Yeah. want to hearing you. Um, you know, tell us a little bit more about your background. How do you, you know, I know you you started it very young, mm-hmm. but what inspired you? What got you into this at the age of four? Okay. Amazing. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Thanks to Allah for everything. Yes, and absolutely. thanks to Islam Channel as well for inviting yeah. me and giving me this very big opportunity. <laughs> and yes, my answer to your question is that um, I started at a very young age. Um, I started around four to three years old actually. I started like singing Nashid songs first. Um, okay. I was in kindergarten. Um, I was just yeah. on the stage by myself, yeah. holding the mic alone. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't quite remember these memories, but my parents are actually those, uh, like the ones that actually uh, reminded me of these happy memories in my life. Wow. And for the uh, Quran uh, recitation as well, uh, I started at a very young age as well, I think around five to six years old. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my parents actually are the ones that actually uh, taught me how to recite the Quran. Yeah. So like, oh, I'm Malaysian, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. born in Malaysia, raised in Malaysia. Yes. So it's a very... Challenging thing uh, to actually learn how to recite the Holy Quran because yeah. Malaysia we have own we have our own language which is yeah. uh, Bahasa Melayu, so we don't have Arabic in our national language. Yeah. So it's completely uh, uh, what do you call uh, other countries' language. Yes. Uh-huh. So we have to put extra effort in learning the Holy yeah. Quran. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So wow. Alhamdulillah. So 
I I managed to uh, recite the Quran the way I am today because of my parents. I'm Aww. always thankful for that. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, to Hussein's uh, mum and dad who are yeah. watching today, all the way in Malaysia. And uh, well, how amazing you to, I, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Um, you know, what an honor it must be for them to, yeah. you know, f- as you said about the language, you know, to Benerzi, actually make more so of an effort to like. learn and recite uh. Uh, in such a way yeah. uh, in Arabic is not an easy task. No, and, um, and actually I wanted to ask you that as a mum myself uh-huh. and having a, a son, what would you advise to our young boys to help them to connect back to the Qur'an, to want to do nasheeds that help them to remember the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu for example. Do you have any advice for them? Um, you know, there's this one hadith uh, from Sahih al-Bukhari and uh, what the Prophet said. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam said uh, that uh, those who recite the Holy Qur'an with a very, very beautiful voice, with a melodious voice, uh, with a uh, calm voice as well, they are considered as a company of uh, the noble and also the companions, uh, companions yeah. they are very close and also the um, loyal angels. Yeah. So if you want to be part of it, so we have to actually recite the Holy Quran. First of, first of all, betul, before betul, 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 uh, having a good voice or melodies, the way you well, recite the Quran, well, you have to learn. learn how to recite it first. Yes, yes of course, so, learn how to read it, understand it and then be and able to Uh, yeah. Present it the way yes. you you know you will be showing us later. Mm-hmm. Um, that is. Uh, so as a as a Muslim, we should we should take like consider yeah. that you know in yes. our life. I mean, how does it feel? How does it feel um, when you're reciting? Where what, where are you? You know, in, what kind of zone are you in in your mind? Um, I used to recite. To be honest, this is my my own experience. I used to recite okay. the Holy Quran without. Um, understanding the meaning because I'm not from okay, uh, Arab, 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 any Arab countries, yeah. I'm from Just Asia. So I started to actually like uh, reciting it and understanding the meanings of it and it gave me a completely view, uh, different view yeah. of the Quran itself mm. and mm. It, it made me uh, understand it better and recite it be- better as well. So. Yes. So yeah, I think that that's it. I, I, lo- I love that. Mm-hmm. So to contemplate on it really helps you to connect more, of course, subhanAllah. Yes, and so, it will give you more passion on reciting it. Yeah. And it will connect to other people's heart when you recite it. Yeah, of course. Even sure. though you, you don't really understand it, but Biar people will... That would come my voice and also the recitation of the Quran will touch the people's hearts. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, when anything is said with so much depth like the Quran, of course, and it's said in such a beautiful, melodious way, it, it, it pierces to the, you know, to, you know, to the heart. Um, yeah. But you know, tell me a little bit more about you know because you were very young yes. when you were perform like uh, when you started performing. Did, how did you feel? Did you get nervous? Did you, um, did you usually get pushed on the stage? Like, no, you have to do it. Try, try. You know, did you kind of, or were you like, did you feel kind of very natural at it? How did you feel at such a young age? Yes, yeah, four, so, yeah. it's very young. Um, I don't know, I think I was born this way. I mean, wow, alhamdulillah. Wow, mashallah. Born to do, yeah, it's from oh. Allah. <laughs> yes, it's from Allah. And um, actually my mom as well, she, she always tell me this uh, memories in my life as well. Whenever I'm very young, I think around four to three years old, yeah. uh, If I'm hungry, I, w- I have bad mood and I will not sing. Okay. Oh, But if okay. she feeds me, <laughs> she feeds me straight away and I will like keep singing like in, inside the car, like the whole car trip, you know? Yeah. yeah. The whole trip, I'll just sing. So from there, my mom realized that I could actually sing, you know? Yeah. And yes, do I get nervous? Yes, of course. I, I'm nervous now, but not as much yeah, as... Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's good to have a little bit of nerves because it shows that you really care for something. It gives you adrenaline yes. as well. Sometimes it gives a better performance. Yes, yes. Yeah, and nervous. you know when you like uh, for the first time ever if you uh, sit on the uh, driver's seat in your car yeah. and for the first time you ever you want to drive the car you get very nervous because yes. you will think what people will say about you what yeah. people will like do yeah, to you, will, they hit you or will, will you hit them and also uh, will they honk at you yeah. so but if you drive the car every day you go to work every day every single day you get used to it it's yes. become yeah. a part of your life of course so and then Then, then, then there's no nervous, like you will be not nervous at that moment. So yeah, same yeah. goes to mind. So, so what, what I would love to know is, what is the preparation like? So if you're going to be giving a show for Nasheed or doing Quran, what's the back preparation for that like? Um, I usually, for example, if uh, I, I have to uh, prepare for my presentations or my warm up, my oh. performance, yes, yeah. uh, it will take me around three to four days before. Okay. Oh. Because um, I want to make sure that I actually sound good and then it's perfect. For me, it's perfect, but for other people, it might not. But 
I'm, I just satisfy myself on that. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be recording my own voice. You know, so there are a lot of people out there. They don't like hearing their own voice. You yes. have to when yeah. they record, when you they sing to. or whatever. They will be like, "Oh, I don't like my own voice." But yeah. even me myself, I don't like my own voice. But that's that's what you have to do to improve yourself yep. on that. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So do you do you, do you take um, or do you have to uh, take something out of your diet or something to that will not affect your voice? Yes. Um, first of all, if you recite the Holy Quran. You cannot eat uh, spicy food that much. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, ice as well. Minyak, okay. minyak, cannot, yeah, yeah, not, the... your, your drink also not to be too hot, just like warm. Oh. Yeah. Like, what are, like room temperature, yes. These are great tips. I know, okay. yeah, I know. But it's even if I tell you these tips, I didn't I didn't follow it as well. Oh <laughs> just, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, don't just say just that we're on yeah. TV. Well, you, you better look after though yourself and follow those tips because yes. you know you no, want to be doing this, uh you're you're giving us something so great. It's fantastic, honestly. And you know, it's been amazing just hearing about you and I know you're just getting started we have so much more to look out for from you What? where can we find you where should we be following you um, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well and YouTube as well you just write Hussein Azizi in YouTube uh-huh. and yeah. Facebook no, my channel, my Facebook. yes in my Instagram Azizi, as well yeah. Hussein Azizi and it's it's spelled differently for the uh, username because it's uh, it's Instagram. Of course, it's yeah. Hard. There's, there's so, a well, there'll be yes, of course. May we understand those Allah issues. bless you, oh, and we'll but, definitely um, be hearing more from you. We're gonna very, hear very more. Soon. Thank you. We're gonna hear definitely more from you. Yeah. Um, but I think it's uh, it is now time for another commercial break. That was an amazing conversation. But don't go anywhere. Hussein will be reciting verses of the Quran and performing Ain Ashid live right after this. Wow, secara langsung guys. Masya Allah. Ini iklan dulu ya. Okay. Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Salam Britain Ramadan edition. Now we were speaking to Hussein Azizi before the break. Hussein uh, Azizi. A student yeah. that's here from Malaysia, a student here in UK in London at Westminster, but from Malaysia. And uh, we had an inter- interesting uh, conversation and an we will be going over to hear some of his recitation. And uh, I think it's now time it to now do time that. It's time to hear him recite. Yeah, the moment has come. A few and of so... the verses of the Quran. So, Bismillah, whenever you're ready, Hussein, please take it away, inshallah. Thank you. <clears throat> <clears throat> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ما شاء الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزلت Masya Allah, merinding guys asli. Wa akhrajatil ardu athqalaha Wa qala Masya'Allah, Masya'Allah. Iza zulzilatil ardu zilzalaha Wa akhrajatil ardu asqalaha Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah, keren. Yawma idhin tuhadithu akhbaraha bi anna rabbaka awha laha Allah. 
Masya Allah, Masya Allah. Faman ya'mal misqala dharatin khayran yara. Masya Allah. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًا يَرَى اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ بِاسْمِ اللَّهِ Allah wa ma adraka ma laylatul qad masyaallah laylatul qadr khairum min alf shah Allah Tanazzalul malaikatu wa ruhu fiha bi'idhni rabbihim min kulli amr Masha'Allah Salamun hiya hatta صدق الله العظيم الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله I am I was um, that was just uh, that was amazing absolutely and um, yeah Incredible. we just uh, well we're, we're, we're kind of blown away words, you we're know, blown away and I'm, I just hope that everyone uh, as uh, Hussein's um, uh, his mom and dad are yes, watching I know. I know that in I think in Malaysia it is around time to uh, break the fast now, yeah right? around six o'clock preparation for uh, iftar is probably happening and what a treat it would be you must for be them. so proud I am so proud I mean for his, such an someone. Honor. Uh, of his age to be sat here was an honor for us, yeah. honestly, and such a talent, Allahumma Barik. And I think it means it touched me even more to know that he saw the importance yeah, sangat, sangat of reflecting on the meaning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My eyes, I... yeah, yeah, to be to to understand Arabic at uh, a young age and to be able to recite mm. it and in a such a melodious way wow. is not an easy task. No. So sangat, sangat very well merdu. done. To, see the dedication as well. Uh, really yes, take the uh, dedication and effort for the years. Um, and that's a, a Gail's again, a big, you know, um, uh, congratulations to his uh, yes. Hussein's uh, parents. To all, of, uh, all of you in Malaysia, how proud they so must proud. be. We're so, mm. we're so yeah. honored to have like, yeah, yeah, it was great to have that. Uh, recitation, I uh, just kind of uh, felt a bit blown away. I know, you know honestly, the, I sat here trying not to cry. I've got the shivers and it, the words of Allah. It's different when you see it in, in person as well. Masya Allah, you kekuatan see, ya. You know, people actually... Kekuatan ayat suci Al-Quran ketika dibacakan, maka hati kita akan bergetar, guys. Betul sekali ya. Reciting like that. It, you know, it does. It does something to you. It's definitely But, one one to look out for, Hussein. We, we, <laughs> I enough. think we have a lot more to come. Yes. So him, we have Allah. also Hussein, who's also uh, prepared in a sheet for us. So are we going to now go over to um, switch over and, and see? I think yeah, in we'll just be a moment. Having him in just a moment, and I'm excited to hear. I'm excited to hear the difference between the voice for the Quran yeah. and then the voice for Nasheed. Yeah. Also, it's different. Allah, I think the positioning. Yeah, he like was saying that. Right. And when you're standing, it's uh, you know with your diaphragm and everything. There's a there's a difference. Yeah. Isn't yeah. There? Yeah. He was for saying those that. Those who sing no. So yeah, well, those who are I reciting Quran. Sing. I do. I speak. <laughs> But <laughs> I know he was saying that there was a difference to sit to get more breath and then to yeah. actually stand to sing. Sing. It's better to stand to sing. But anyway, let's. Uh, I think it's time now. Let's let's stop uh, going on and on, and uh, let's actually watch Hussein and to see what he has for us. Yes. Okay. Ya Rabbi, qad ghafi. 
Masya Allah, Masya Allah. Allah. Fi afwin wa fi karamin. Allah. Wa fi ataqi wa jan. Allah Allah memang memang sedap guys ya suara dia memang memang sedap lembut dan apa ya enak lah Oke, okay. mungkin ini uh, agak kepotong-potong guys karena ada copyrightnya kayaknya ini guys ya. <tik> oh ini laukan. Laukan apa? Allah. Setidaknya nama saya masuk guys ya. <laughs> Allah. Masya Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That was amazing. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Yes. Wow. Ya yeah, betul. Wow, Suara yang uh, luar biasa um, banget ya. You know, uh, uh, Hussein before, Azizi ini Masya Allah. You know, so beautiful. And uh, you know, I, I'm just like, wow. You know, it's um, it's so, you, so you don't great. Have speechless that... very often, and I think we're both quite speechless. <laughs> yeah, tidak bisa berkata kata. Alright guys, sudah selesai videonya dan itulah tadi ya guys ya, masya Allah Hussein Azizi yang masya Allah ya bangga sekali lah sebagai orang tua terutama dan juga masyarakat Malaysia. 
yang Masya Allah dia masuk ke live TV di UK guys ya edisi Ramadan ya dan Masya Allah sangat-sangat membanggakan sekali dan Allah itu yang harusnya viral loh guys bener sih karena kenapa di situ membuat orang tuh kayak mikir gitu kan Masya Allah bisa seperti itu anaknya ya kan masih muda mulai dari 4 tahun ya kan dan istilahnya kegiatan orang tua maksudnya bukan kegiatan maksudnya apa ya semangat orang tua untuk mendidik anaknya gitu kan supaya anaknya menjadi orang yang betul-betul cinta kepada Al-Qur'an ya kan cinta ke- kepada baginda Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam di era sekarang ini cinta kepada baginda Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya mengajarkan anak kita dengan nasyid-nasyid selawat-selawat dan juga mengamalkan amalan yang disunahkan oleh baginda Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam nah di situ guys kalau untuk mengenalkan anak kita kepada Allah Ya kan, ya cukup istilahnya kita mengajarkan macam mana kita menghormati orang tua, mengajarkan bagaimana sholat, bang, mengajarkan hal-hal kebaikan, mengajarkan bagaimana masya Allah ya ciptaan Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala yang ada di muka bumi ini. Jadi ketika kita melihat sesuatu yang indah, kita ucapkan masya Allah Subhanallah. Apa nak? Kalau istilahnya kita melihat keindahan, bilangnya masya Allah. Melihat yang hal menakjubkan, bilangnya apa? Subhanallah. Allah la haula wala quwata illa billahi alal azim itu cara kita untuk mengenalkan uh, anak-anak kita kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala dan masyaallah ya dari kecil sudah dididik sedemikian rupa dan besarnya menjadi orang yang masyaallah dikenal oleh orang dan juga disukai banyak orang ya teman-teman sekalian dengan suaranya yang masyaallah yang cantik ya kan suaranya yang merdu lembut sampai bikin merinding gitu kan dan cewek-cewek pastilah apalagi cewek-cewek sana juga istilahnya wow keren banget pasti seperti itu jadi intinya adalah kalau kita belajar dari kecil dan menekuni sebuah hal yang kita sukai dan cintai maka kita akan menjadi orang yang spesial nantinya oke itu saja video kali ini guys terima kasih sudah tengok video ini sampai selesai apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan saya pamit udah diri wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearrange